So you got the victory. What's next? What's the plan? I don't know. I don't know, Joe. You know, what I plan to do is always stay focused on the task at hand and then make the plans afterwards, you know? It's been a long, awesome, and amazing journey up to this point. I would love to get a charity fight lined up. You know, this is a day and age, Joe, where a lot of fake people can take pictures next to Lamborghinis, post it on Instagram, and then the Lamborghini is theirs, right? So, you know, there's a guy named Hans Molenkamp who's been holding a lot of fighters hostage, been saying he's an awesome pro fighter, and that he can take out everybody, and he's picking his fights. I would love for Monster to pick a charity of their choice, and uh, me and Hans go at it. He's got 100 pounds on me. He says he's got a ton of surgeries. I got a ton of surgeries. How about we do something for charity? He's got a 100 pound advantage, and uh, you know I think we can put on a good show for charity and make a lot of money for him. And he's been he's been uh, forcing us to comment on his photos, forcing us to do videos and pictures with him, just in order to hold our contracts hostage. So let's see. Put your money where your mouth is, Hans, and well, let's do something for charity. I'm sorry this has become a political event, but uh, listen, Dom, I love you. Congratulations, sir. It's a huge victory over a really tough young guy, and uh, I can't wait to see you again. Joe, I'm not political. This is Monster Energy. Well, I understand. He'll probably love that he's getting plugged like this, to be honest. So it's actually a benefit for him, so he should thank me. Um, but yeah, it was just, you know, that we're in a day and age where you can... If I take a picture with Conor McGregor like this, now I'm Conor McGregor's friend, right? If I take a picture with Dominic Cruz and have, a bu have him commenting on my, on my page, we're in a day and age where that looks like we're friends. Well, I mean, I may be your friend, but you can't use me in order to get clout, as they put it. And I'm just, I'm not here to be used. I work very hard. Look at my face, look at my body. I get beat, de beat to death for a living. So when you try to force me and you text me if I don't comment on your page, if I don't give you an interview that you're gonna take what pays my bills, what are we doing? Monster sponsors me, not you. And so this was a call out because he calls himself a pro fighter. He's got 100 pounds weight on me. And I'm like, we can make this a win-win situation. Let's do a charity event, Monster picks the charity. And then we, we scrap it out, you know? He's a pro, he says he's got three pro fights. Let's prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. You got a little tiny guy calling you out for charity, not for anything else. Why not? And this is Hans Camp, just to be clear. Yeah. How long is this issue between you and him? I don't have an issue. I just want charity to make some money. I have no issue with this guy. You mentioned on the broadcast, though, that he's keeping fighters trapped in contracts. Is that the situation between you and him? Are you trapped in a contract with this guy? It's not trapped in a contract. It's forced to give him clout, forced to hype him up if I want to make money. I'm, Monster pays me. So it would be, the equivalent would be, does the UFC pay me? Yes. Does Dana White own the UFC? Yes. So if Dana White says, hey, go on my page and like my page, Dana White has complained on this guy. Dana White has gone on this man's page and said something. They ignored it like it didn't happen. So I'm not the first one to say something. Dana's also said something. Maybe ask him about it. I will. With that in mind, do you think Dana might enjoy this idea or might go along with this idea? I don't know, but if, if he does, Dana, maybe you'll do it. Maybe you could set up this charity event because he, call, you know, he calls himself a pro f It's Nick Diaz Army, motherfuckers.